girls out there, if you want your hair to grow, if that's where you're going, don't do what Butler does. What do you do? Tell us. Please. Hi everyone, it's Mummy and Matt Matt. So I'm really, really upset right now. I really am so miffed because I had this episode planned out perfectly well and I was going to prank Mot Mot. I was going to prank her <laughs> by um, pretending that I was cutting my hair. Um, and you know, she bought it initially, but unfortunately a couple of things happened and she figured out what I was doing. And so that, uh, you know, I was so, you know, I've been planning it for a whole week. But anyway, no, I am not going to cut my hair. I love my hair. I was actually going to trick all of you by showing you a picture of my sister, a thousand faces worldwide. Um, check that out. I was going to show you a picture of her and tell you that I was going to do that. So I had it all planned out, but I won't tell you what the chef did to destroy my plans. Anyway, I won't say anything about it, but today, <laughs> but today we are going to have a good show nonetheless. Um, so two things. First thing is I'm going to show you my hair. My hair's actually really, really grown. I mean, I've got it in two ponytails. My hair's really grown a lot, um, in length. Um, so I've always been, you know, very open about my, um, size and, you know, it's growing. It's not as fast as I would have liked it. And again, the reason it happened, it happened, I believe is because I did a thousand braids, a uh, million, I don't remember what it's called, but I did tons and tons of braids like the really skinny ones and he fried my hair follicles so basically i'm trying to revive them again but what we are going to do today is um re revive this hair so Matma did this hair um i will i fixed this hair uh about three weeks ago it's been a while so she, her hair keeps quite well if you look at that her hair keeps quite well um, but before I, I, I do what I was planning to do to Mot Mot's hair, I'm going to tell you all. My hair is growing in length, but Mot Mot's is growing in um, in strength, if I can put it that way, width-wise. Um, and the other thing is, girls out there, if you want your hair to grow, if that's where you're going, don't do what Mot Mot does. What do you do? Tell us, please. Um. So I am going to tell you what she does. She's constantly pulling and tugging and she's constantly decorating. <laughs> and, you know, she comes with two, two bits and then she comes with one bit and then she... So she's constantly pulling this hair. And I keep telling her, Mot Mot, if you want your hair to grow long, if that's what you're doing, then you kind of need to just leave it. Because my hair is really, really grown and she can see that happening. But then the good thing about Mot Mot's hair is it's really dense. It's really super healthy. Um, and I'm very happy with it. To be honest, I am really, really happy with it. And so is she. Um, but if she wants to see as much length as mommy's seen, she has to leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> you have got to leave it alone. But Modma's not leaving it alone, but hopefully from after now she will. But again, like I said, I'm super happy, um, because it's, it's really growing in all the right ways. I mean, she's got very good a very good hairline and her hair is kind of is the same around the whole head so it's it's really good i mean she has mod mod has 4a no 4b 4c 4d 4z hair but she's got her hair is really nice and afro so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to revive this hair um to to show how because i'm super busy i'm a very busy mom so i don't always have time to sit down and do something this much so what I am going to do is I am going to revitalize it. What does Revi that mean? Revitalize means to make it, to renew it. So do it again? No, not do it again. Like make it almost like new. Does that make sense? So the same exact hairstyle. Something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to, so these are twists. See, that is actually quite long, um, but very healthy. So um, we're going to untwist the twists. There's a name for it, I can't remember, but we're going to untwist the twist and then see what happens. Um, when we're done with that, um, I think it'll be really beautiful. I've done that on myself, and so we'll see what, what happens. So do you like my earrings? Look at that. 
I mean, I don't know what they say, but I think they're really nice. Thank you, Mutt Mutt. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. Right then, so we are, I'm just going to take the twists off, but before I do this, I am going to moisturize it just a little bit. I'm going to oil the base of it just to make sure that is nice and it continues to be healthy. And it's very clean. Um, I wouldn't oil a dirty scalp. So I would, you know, I would wash it even like this and then let it dry and then, you know, oil the scalp. And then we'll start to untwist. Okay, Mud Mud, please hold that up, please. So that's our oils, you know, our mixture of oils, like we've always told you. So I put it into this little container and I just put it on the base of her hair. Um, like so just a little bit and she loves this because like she gets a good scalp massage right yes sir <laughs> okay so there's someone Mutt Mutt would like to meet she's going to tell you about them while i oil her scalp i uh, i really actually like gymnastics and um i have a gymnastics bar and a rug to do my gymnastics on and uh i've i've always like um i've always like looked at simone biles um um to see if i can you know like learn any other moves and she is the best gymnast in the world mm -hmm. and i i actually oh, have sorry. asked siri many times where she lives but i mean i uh i really never get an answer that i would be able to go to so um um, so I actually would really like to meet her. Yep, so Simone Biles, if by any chance you are watching this, or if someone sends this video to you, Mott Mott is your greatest fan and she would love to meet you. She would like to be like you. Um, so yes, there we go. She's actually very good in gymnastics and I've been She's very good in, in tons of stuff, just like her chef big brother. She taught herself to split. I've told her if I split, my dinner would come out the other way. I won't tell you what way. <laughs> so um, she taught herself to split. She um, watches, you know, because she doesn't watch, we don't watch television, but she, I would let her watch um, how-to videos on safe things. So she watches how to do this how to do that and she would go in a corner and just teach herself how to do different moves um yeah so she would love to meet simone biles she loves to do all of that she wants to be a gymnast and she also wants to be a artist an artist and her art's great as well and also a vet and she wants to be a vet and a doctor and a doctor but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all that in. Well, hey, you never know. But if you had to pick one of those, what would it be? Gymnast. Oh, she would love to be a gymnast. All right, so I'm going to show you. May I show you your um, painting? Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you one of Mutt Mutt's paintings and then maybe I'll show you another one. I mean, she doesn't joke with this. This is a painting that Mutt Mutt did. I even, gave, I even came up with a name for it. She came up with a name for it. What name did you come up with? Blazing Faller, but I realized that Faller wasn't really a name. But I mean, if it's not really a real word, then I mean, no one's really come up with it then. These are birds um, up in the sky. These, um, these are the, wa um, this is the water that is splashing off from the water fountain. And here's the rocks that the water is coming through from. These are the trees, like... They're in a straight line, but it looks like they're piled on top of each other. And these are also the, the bits of water. So, so and what this is, is the sky that's like in between the trees? And you can see through, and, and definitely, the sun. obviously, the sun. So, this is brilliant. She um, actually really, really loves to paint. Okay. So, here is Mutt Mutt at work. You see that? She really loves to draw and she really loves to paint. Um, she really loves to paint and she really loves to tumble. Okay, so we're all done with the um with oil in the base. And put these down. And now I'm going to on twist. So 
I've just split. See? Ooh. I just took the Yeah, I took the twists off. Look how beautiful those are. How beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. to bring her slightly closer look at that so I've just on um, twisted the twist and it's really nice it's puffy and lovely so um, if you remember I oiled the base of it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of the oil in my in my palm like so just a little bit and I'm gonna rub it and then I'm going to just give it a bit of a shine how beautiful is that so she can do so much with it and it's a, give us a shake 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 nice give us a slower shake nice okay so that looks absolutely beautiful if you can't feel it but it feels so nice and soft so what i'll do um tomorrow because it's quite late now but tomorrow i'll just put my comb in there and lift it a little bit just like that so when you lift it it just makes it even slightly puffier and slightly um, nicer, right? And the thing is you can leave it like this for a few, um, for another week really, because it'll just, I'm actually doing what I said I'll do tomorrow. So I'm just putting the comb in and lifting it ever so slightly. So it'll give you that very nice Afro-y look without too much work. So anyway, this is it. And we hope you had fun. Now I'm looking at my and my chef here who messed up the um the initial idea but <laughs> you can't see him but he's waving his arms frantically don't tell them yeah just like that okay all right so from mommy and Mom!